it's intimidating. I've had players, I played tournaments growing up and I had players do that against me and that puts me on edge because you're like, oh my gosh, they, they know what they're doing. Like, we, I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do yeah. off this shot. So I'll go over the basic sign. So first, you can tell your partner where to serve. Let's say we're starting on the deuce side, right? So this would be T, this would be down the middle, this would be out wide, right? So you're pointing in the direction. So right, T, down the middle, at the body, or wide. That's for the deuce side, right? So you pick that sign, you wait until your partner says yes or okay, you, that you want them to acknowledge, right? That you, that they are confirming where you want, where you want them to serve it, right? So let's say I choose wide, right? You choosing wide, it sets up the, let's say they do serve wide, right? That's gonna set you up because their opponent is off the court, right? Let's hope it's a good serve, somewhat wide. It gets them off the court, right? What, what would you like to do if your opponent's off to the side as the volleyer? The one giving the signals. You'd probably want to poach, right? Yeah. Um, if it's a weak serve, they're probably gonna hit it down the line, right? So th that's where you have to make the decision. If my partner has a really strong serve, I'm probably gonna poach every time because if they go for down the line, they'll probably miss if it's a strong serve. They're forced to hit it in the middle of the court, right, the most accurate place, and you'll be right there to po poach it off. So. This is where doubles, you can be super efficient if you learn how to work with your partner, okay? So, right, we have the first sign, down the T, middle or wide. The second sign is either poach or stay, or fake, okay? I think faking is awesome. I mean, I use faking more than probably either of the other ones because that, I mean, you're, they'll never know if you're gonna go or not. And then by faking, they might be like, oh my gosh, he's gonna go, I'm not gonna go cross court, I'm gonna send it back down the line where you think he's moving from and he's already waiting for the ball. So we're gonna practice doing all of these and we're gonna help you guys. But we wanna just show you that maybe you can teach your partners when you play high school tennis next season how to do this. And if you become confident and you, you know, you're with the same partner you played with last year, I mean, this is something that can take your game to the next level, regardless of how your your tennis game is improving. It's mental too. You're improving your mental game. Yeah. So let's just try it out. Um, we'll keep it simple. And if you guys forget, it's okay. It's still, it's new stuff. But I want to teach you guys how, you know, you can work with your partner in just developing the point. At, right as you start, you're developing the point, right? You're picking a strategy of what you want to do. Okay?
what we're out here for. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. good.